Check it out. We're looking at the P7 P55DE Deluxe Motherboard. This is a high-end motherboard. Let me tell you, if you want to build a workstation, if you want to have a ton of USB 2.0 ports, you want to be future-proof, this is the board. Not only does it have USB 3.0, it has SATA 6, and it supports the latest Socket 1156 Intel processors, and that is where we will start today. Uh, so we're going to start off with the socket right here. Socket supports all your Intel uh, 1156 processors, so the Core i3, the Core i5, the Core i7, etc. Also, all around you, you're going to see really nice hardware, uh, solid-state capacitors that are the conductive polymer type, uh, lower RDSO and MOSFETs, uh, ferrite core chokes, etc. Now, this is a 16 uh, plus three-phase power for this motherboard. 16 phases for the CPU and three for the uh, P55 chipset. Uh, so very clean power. It's going to be a really good overclocker. Uh, you can put up to uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory on here. It'll actually do up to 1600 mega native, which is actually really high. Uh, it also features the Memo K feature. So if your uh, memory is not booting up too well, you just push this little button right here. It's going to automatically uh, kind of reset it to you know conservative settings that will work and that'll let you boot up into uh, Windows and then from there you can overclock it in your BIOS and make sure it works properly. Uh, you can do up to 2200 megahertz uh, if you overclock. Now let's talk a little bit about SATA ports. Uh, your traditional SATA ports uh, are facing the right direction as I like to say because they are going away from the graphics cards that means they're not going to be blocked. You have six uh, SATA 2 uh, 3 gigabit per second ports right here. Uh, also down here at the bottom you have an additional uh, two, these are SATA 6 gigabit per second ports, so these are uh, incredibly fast. These are twice as fast uh, as the SATA 2. Uh, basically, this goes to the JMicon controller uh, that controls the eSATA on the back as well as the uh, PADA uh, items on the board, such as the ID connection. Uh, this is connected to the Marvell controller, 6 gigabit per second, uh, and then these over here are connected to the P55 chipsets. So these are going to give you RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. Uh, these are going to give you uh, 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 as well. Now, moving on to uh, PCI Express. Quite a bit of connectivity uh, on this board. Uh, we'll start from the top, PCI Express X1, PCI Express X16, 2.0 obviously, PCI Express X1 again. Uh, this is a PCI, PCI Express X16, PCI, PCI Express X1. Now, you might ask, why is there a difference in the colors? Why is this one uh, gray and this one blue if they're both the same? Well, there is a reason. Uh, basically, what you're looking at is the blue ones up here are 5 giga transfers per second. The one down here at the bottom is 2.5 giga transfers per second. So for something that bandwidth is important, you want to throw it on the blue one. If it's something that bandwidth isn't important, you can throw it uh, on right down here. We'll move on now to the back panel. Incredible. Lots of good stuff going on back here. Starting from over here, PS2 ports, uh, clear CMOS, USB 3.0, those are two of them right there. Uh, your SP diff in both uh, analog, coaxial, and digital toss link. Dual gigabit ethernet with teaming technology. Uh, four USB 2.0 ports beneath them. Uh, right here is another two USB 2.0 ports, a Firewire, and that's a combo eSATA USB 2.0 port. Uh, and then all the way over here, get this, get this, 10 channel HD audio using a new chipset that you've never heard of. It's the VIA VT2020. So usually you're used to having the ALC889A or the 889. This is a new chipset. Supports DTS surround sound, uh, BD audio layer content protection, very, very high-end audio on this board. You probably don't need a sound card unless you're crazy. Uh, now let's talk about what you get in the box and some of the uh, ASUS features. Now I'm not going to go too crazy with the ASUS features because you know, there's like a billion of them. There's Smart Fan and Fan Expert, and I mean, there's so many, it's hard. But I will go uh, over a few that you get in the box that are cool, and also just what you get in the box in general. Uh, first of all, a bunch of SATA cables, as you can imagine. Uh, this really cool back panel connector, I like this, check this out. Two USB 2.0 ports, as well as a uh, eSATA are included on the back. So if you want to hook up an external hard drive and you only have that one eSATA that's on the back panel, this is going to give you the ability to add a second one uh, also included in the box, uh, a IDE cable. I really hope you don't use this on such an advanced motherboard, but you may have your reasons. Also, uh, this is a little cooler. This cool factor is uh, going up uh, on this board or on these peripherals. Check this out. This is the Turbo V remote. Basically, it's going to let you overclock on the fly. Basically, plug it into the motherboard, and you can overclock. You can set user-defined profiles. You can increase your bus speed. Uh, you can mess with voltages. You can turn on the EPU mode or auto mode. Uh, obviously, this board has all the overclocking features that ASUS provides. So you have the Turbo V. Uh, you have the Turbo V remote. You have uh, the CPU step-up or level-up. 
all that good stuff is on there. So it'll self overclock. It'll do a semi-automatic overclock where you can go use a Turbo V for fully manual overclocking. So it has all of those features uh, available on the board also. Uh, very nice. I love these. Very nice input output shield. Comes fully labeled with everything uh, that you need to know. So basically, you know what you're plugging into, which one's the USB 3.0, which is the uh, USB 2.0, and then all the audio, especially with 10 channel audio, uh, pretty complicated. It is painted on the front, shielded on the back. This is going to help you stop vibration as well as uh, block out electromagnetic uh, interference. And then also, uh, you get a user guide for the Turbo V Evo, uh, which is a self overclocking kind of deal. And then you get the very complicated uh, but very thorough P7, P55, DE deluxe motherboard guide uh, and that's basically it very nice motherboard uh, very well featured if you want to be future proof with SATA 6 gigabit per second you want to be future proof with uh, USB 3.0 you need tons of USB 2.0 ports you need Firewire you need eSATA you need all this good stuff you need to have a very fast processor lots of memory this is the board for you if you don't want to go with the Bloomfields and the X58s this is the best you can get on P55 it's such a good board it's not per se a gamers board because it only does uh, X16 and then X8 X8 so, you know, you can either do one card at full bandwidth or you can do split at X8, X8, but it'll still do SLI and Crossfire with two cards, no problem. Triple SLI, obviously it'll suffer, but it's an incredible board for workstations, for business computers, for editors, et cetera, et cetera. Really awesome stuff. Uh, the P7, P55, DE Deluxe. If you have any questions, email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the ASUS P7, P55, DE Deluxe motherboard, type in A455-2927 into any major search engine.